Hello friends, I hope that you're all doing well. In this video, I will be identifying two mistakes that if you make during your application of the green card DV lottery will automatically uh, kick you out of the selection. But first, please consider subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up. It motivates me to create more helpful video like this one so the first mistake that will automatically uh, eliminate you from the selection is making a duplicate application that is a duplicate entry double entry or maybe doing more than one application for whatever reason that you make a double entry application you will be rejected whether it is because maybe you notice that after submitting you there is an error or there was a mistake you made in the entry of the information that you're adding maybe you want to change the date or the spelling of the name don't try to apply the second time let it go as it is you will have a chance to do the corrections of the mistakes you might have made in the next stage where you'll be filling the ds260 form the diversity visa form so don't uh, try to uh, apply again so that you can correct the mistakes you made in the already submitted application you will be rejected or maybe you want to increase your chances of winning by submitting more than one um, application. There are other ways you can increase your chances, but having more than one application as the main applicant is not one of the ways you can increase your chances. In, in It will make you uh, be rejected. Uh, uh, during the selection i have a video which uh, gives the ways you can increase your chances so you can check that video and know the many other ways you can increase your chances but not with the double uh, application the second mistake that will automatically make you uh, get rejected is submitting a passport photo that does not meet the required uh, requirements that is something that might seem simple and many overlook it and end up being rejected uh, during the selection uh, process the requirements are many but i have a, also a video which states all the requirements that your passport photo that is the photo that you use to apply must meet for you as the main applicant and all the people that you're adding in your application that is all your dependents their passport photo must meet the requirements if it doesn't then you will get rejected some of these uh, requirements include the background color, the size of the passport photo, the resolution. I will link up the video with those requirements so that you can check and ensure that you don't make that mistake. Friends, that's all for this video. I hope it is helpful to you. Please consider subscribing and give this video a thumbs up. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.